That is outrageous. In my hands right now is some of the most anticipated footy boots of this year. Let's check it out. What's going on guys? Kai here from All Laced Up and today I am bringing you something that has uh, unfortunately rinsed my bank account. As you can see, the funds are low. And if you are someone like me who is stupid, doesn't need boots, but still decides to do it, then I mean, you got no choice but to blame yourself at this point, so. But anyway, um, getting into it, I don't know if you could pick it up off of the shine from the box. There you go. Um, this box in my hand contains a pretty special pair of boots that are blowing up the internet from what I've seen. The version I've got is actually not the most expensive, spoiler alert. So my bank could have been even worse off if I did get those. However, they're not in the country yet and they haven't properly released them yet. So I stuck with the regular, they're just the elites now. They're not even the 0.1s, 0.2s. Um, Adidas have kind of stopped that whole numbering system. Much like what Nike did. A few years ago, they've switched things up and uh, changed it up. And their naming system has completely changed, much like Nike did. And they've gone down the elite route. So, jumping straight into it. I, I really don't want these videos to be super long. I want them to be nice, quick, but enjoyable. I like to think that I am not boring. If I send you to sleep, I'm sorry. Uh, sometimes I send myself to sleep. I talk to myself when I'm going to bed and it seems to put me away quite nicely. Anyway, jumping into it. So these boots are special. I've had to wear a special shirt just to announce the unboxing of these because this certain player, happens to be one of the best youngsters in the world, as I said in my last video, and this is a boot that he will 100% be wearing, especially because it matches the color of the shirt. Spoiler alert. Getting into it, we have, I don't know if you can see there, it is the Adidas Predator Elite Firm Ground because it's never wet enough to go soft ground, apart from now, but we don't play in wet ground, so it's not worth it. But, getting into it, I don't have a desk in front of me. Like, look, quick announcement. My room layout is real wacky, so for me to record this, I took about 20 minutes trying to find an angle. So, I hope this does. Anyway, without further ado, in three, two, one. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the full white, or some may say triple white, Predator Elite. And boy, am I excited to have these. Boom, boom, bosh. My team colors are white, blue, and red. The blue and red are accents, the majority of the kit's white. These are literally perfect. Now, I don't know if you can pick it up. They do have also like a slight metallic shine to them. It gives off like a purple. I saw these on the shelves and I saw the price. I nearly vomited, but at the same time, I knew it had to be done because they are so good. Featuring the Hybrid Touch 2.0, the upper is super soft, super thick, but plushy. It's like, it kind of gives off it gives off the feeling of a leather. I don't know if I'm the only one that thinks that, but the upper on this specific pair, the triple white, feels different to the release pair we saw, I think a couple of weeks ago, that everyone blew up for. Um, the upper on these feel different. They feel a little bit more, a bit more sticky and a bit more like a leather sensation. The upper is quite thick, yet still feels super soft. Um, the Hybrid Touch 2.0 definitely is a quality material. Um, I've usually veered away from Adidas for a while now, but I don't know, this specific pair just caught my eye and I had to get them. Digging further into the box before we do look at the boots a little further more, you do still get a drawstring bag. Obviously this one says Predator. You've got the sticky rubber elements, the strike skin. These are supposed to give you an absolute ping on the ball, much like a David Beckham-esque, or as you might say, the modern day Trent Alexander-Arnold. You also feature some knit around the heel. You've got the two cushioned liner pads, super soft. 
Um, I thought you had some grip elements on the inside. I don't know if it picks it up. It is just cosmetic. There is not actually any grip on the sole, sadly. You've obviously got the three massive silver three stripes. Beautiful. You've got the 30 on the back for the 30th anniversary of the Predators. So they are regarded as the Predator 30 because of that. And then you feature the control frame 2.0. I believe it's similar to the one we've seen used on the Copas before. Um, it's quite springy, um, surprisingly, but it is super lightweight, making the Predators a very, I guess, light feeling boot in hand for what used to be a very heavy leather oriented boot. All in all, you know me, spending too much money as always, had to grab these, they are beautiful. They are one that I will be absolutely thrashing. Thankfully, they are quite easy to clean because the materials don't have too much grooves to them, so it should just slide off, I hope. Um, I didn't spend all that money for nothing. Um, but yeah, look, I want to keep it nice, short and sweet, so I'm not gonna drag it on any longer. I should be able to get a play test out on these soon. Look, I say that all the time. Problem is I'm very lazy or I'm busy. Right now, the only reason I can't is because there happens to be such things as bad weather and right now where I am in Australia we are copying the short end of a cyclone so the weather's very hit and miss and the fields have been absolutely sloshed I might be able to find you a photo so uh, when I can get back out there I'll be sure to put these on and record you guys something but in the meantime Keep watching all my shorts, stay active on my Instagram where I try to post or be active every day. Um, I reply to all your guys' messages and I'm happy to have a chat whenever. And uh, hit me up if you wanna know something or you know if you're just wanting to have a chat, send me a message. And uh, with that, don't forget to drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys on the next one. I think it's only fitting that we do it this way. Peace.